Hello, fourth graders. I'm here to make you a fabulous writer and to tell you all of the capitalization rules that you'll need to follow when you start writing your narrative. The first rule is da 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 da, capitalize the first word of a sentence. You know this, you've learned this, uh, you've been doing this since first grade. Do it, right? It's the easiest one. The cat is sleeping. What's capitalized? The. Where did I put that book? What's capitalized? Where? Hey is capitalized. It is capitalized because both of these are the beginning of the what? Sentence. So again, capitalize the first word of a sentence. Rule number one. Rule number two. Capitalize names and other proper nouns. Remember what a proper noun is? A proper noun is a person, place, or thing that is the name. You should always capitalize people's names. My favorite author is Jane Austen. Jane and Austen are both capitalized because it's the name of a person. Tom and Diane met at Judy's house. Notice Tom, Diane, and Judy are all capitalized because they are name, names of people. Have you met my dog, Boomer? Do you notice that dog is not capitalized? Why? Because it's not the name. Is Boomer capitalized? Yes, it's the name of the dog. Again, proper nouns, names of people, places, or things. Let's move on. Names are proper nouns. The names of cities, countries, companies, religions, and political parties are also proper nouns, so you should capitalize them too. Here is an example. We experienced some beautiful Southern California weather last fall when we attended a Catholic wedding in San Diego. Now, I want to address Southern California and why it's capitalized. Capitalized directions only when they refer to specific directions. So for example, my favorite place in the world is Northern Ontario. You would capitalize the N and the O. But we do not capitalize North, South, east and west when giving directions. So here's another example. Drive six blocks north and then turn right. Going back to this sentence, we experienced some beautiful Southern California. We would capitalize Southern California because it's referring to a region. Whether last fall when we attended a Catholic, we would capitalize Catholic, why? Because it's a religion wedding in San Diego. And again, we would capitalize San Diego because it's a what? If you said city, you're correct. The rule that I want to review is capitalize the first word of a quote. Now, we actually learned this yesterday when we learned about putting dialogue in your story. We always capitalize the first word of a quote when a quote is a complete sentence. So, for example, Mario asked, what is everyone doing this weekend? You'll notice that here's the dialogue tag. Mario is capitalized because it's the beginning of a sentence and it's a name. And then the beginning of the dialogue, what is capitalized? Because it's the first word of the dialogue. The next rule that we're going to review is capitalize days, months, and holidays, but not seasons. So, for example, I hate Mondays. We capitalize Monday because it's what? If you're saying it's the name of a day, you're correct. Let's go to the next one. Tom's birthday is in June. We capitalize Tom because why? Well, it's the name of a person, it's the beginning of a sentence, and we also capitalize June 
Why? If you're saying that it's the name of a month, you're correct. Let's move on to the next sentence. Oh no, I forgot about Valentine's Day. We capitalize O because it's the beginning of a sentence. And you can see right here where the exclamation point is, that's the end of the sentence because it's, it's exclamatory. I starts a new sentence. Now, I is always capitalized because it's a proper noun. So even if it wasn't the beginning of the sentence, we would still capitalize it. But also check out Valentine's Day. We capitalize Valentine's and Day because it's the complete title of the holiday. Now let's move on to this bottom part. Remember how we said we don't capitalize seasons? Here are some examples. I hate winter. You might think, oh, well, it's the name of a season, so we capitalize it. Not so. Having a summer birthday is the best. Notice that is summer capitalized? No. But if you said having a birthday in June is the best, would you capitalize June? Yes, you would, because it's the name of a month. Okay, our next rule is capitalize most words in titles. Now, this is one that is actually really important that I've been wanting to teach you all year long, and now the moment has arrived. Let's read this paragraph together. The capitalization rules for titles of books, movies, and other works vary a little between style guides. In general, you should capitalize the first word, all nouns, all verbs, even the short ones like is, all adjectives, and all proper nouns. That means you should lowercase articles, conjunctions, and prepositions. However, some style guides say capitalize conjunctions and prepositions that are longer than five letters. So here we have three titles of books. We have Sense and Sensibility, Pride and Prejudice, and Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. Notice that Sense and sensib Sensibility, both the Sense and Sensibility are capitalized and is not, because why? and is a conjunction, so we don't capitalize it. Pride and prejudice. We capitalize pride, we capitalize prejudice. Why is an and capitalized? Because it's a conjunction. Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. Okay, you'll notice that Harry Potter is capitalized because Harry Potter, it's a name, and remember, it says you capitalize all the words except for uh, conjunctions, articles, prepositions. So you'll notice Harry is capitalized, Potter is capitalized, Sorcerer is capitalized, Stone is capitalized. And the only words that are not capitalized are and and the. Why? Because and and the are articles. A and and the are all articles. So when you create the title of your story, remember this rule. The next rule that you need to remember, remember is capitalize cities, countries, nationalities, and languages. So for example, English is made up of many languages including Latin, German, and French. Notice that English is capitalized because it's the beginning of a sentence, but even if it wasn't, would we still capitalize it? Yes, because it's the name of a language. Latin, German, and French are all capitalized because why? Well, they're names of uh, languages, okay? My mother is British and my father is Dutch, okay? Notice that we would capitalize British and Dutch, why? because they are names of nationalities. And then the capital of Botswana is Gaborone. Okay, uh, why would we capitalize Botswana and Gaborone? Is 
Botswana is the name of a country and Gaborone is the name of a city. So in your story, if you name a, the city as the setting in your story, remember to capitalize it. If you include the country of the, as part of your setting, make sure you capitalize it. If your characters are, are speaking languages and you mention it in your story, make sure you capitalize it. That's all, folks.